Hey, I'm Kathy Williams. And Keith Avell. And we're here talking today about the difference between uh, different kinds of ebooks, especially e ink and LCD. Did I get it right? That's right. Okay. Um, e ink technology, you want to be careful with this one. You don't want to just think of it as black and white versus color, okay? Because this isn't 1950s TV sets. Um, this is a technology which is a lot different than devices have used in the past. These uh, display of dots on the screen, the black ink, they're here and they're not consuming any power. So that means I could sit this down and we could walk away, come back in a month, it would still be here. And that's the e-ink one. That's right, it's e-ink. Mm -hmm. Now watch what happens when I turn the page. And this is a product called the Kobo. Do you see that flash when I turn the page? What mm -hmm. that flash is, is all the little dots rearranging themselves. That's what consumes power. Okay. So as you read, it will drain the device, but it doesn't take very much power to rearrange those dots. Mm -hmm. So even um, if you were to read this, uh, you know, six, eight hours a day, you could probably run two weeks on a charge. That's right, he said two weeks. Two weeks. So, you know, your phones, you're charging every night, and then if you skip a day, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. That's, right. That's really attractive to people, uh, to not have to babysit the power of their devices. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's important is the ease on the eyes. Okay. So this is an LCD device. Um, as you use this, it's like a computer screen. This is an iPad, Apple product, right? Yep. Okay. Your eyes are going to get tired as you look at this the same way they do on your um, laptop or your computer. computer. Exactly. Um, and this won't tire your eyes out. So that's a big distinction. Um, as you're talking to people about what they might like, you might want to ask them how long a typical reading session lasts. If it lasts a long time, this may not be a good device for them. Right, right. And then you were talking um, before in the manager's meeting about the difference between backlit, which this is, right? Mm -hmm. And that one is not backlit. That's right. So that means uh, if we were to turn off the lights in this room, you could obviously still read the LCD device, but the e-ink you couldn't read. So in that sense, this is truly more like a book if you want to think right. of it that way. Right. So if and you're reading also, a bed, you need right. night light, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But then also if you're outside in a sunny day, like reading on the beach, this would be the better product because you can read this in the sun, but you can't read the LCD in the sun. Is that right? That's exactly uh -huh. right. I passed the test. In fact, <laughs> uh, they had a funny uh, ad. Um, Kindle was going after the iPad because they said you can read ours, um, you know, on, at the pool and, and this device you can. You probably, um, for our viewers at home, you probably remember um, seeing that kind of effect if you've ever taken a laptop outside and tried to read it on a, a bright day. For your cell or phone. Your cell phone or GPS uh, on a bright day. It's backlit. Um, it doesn't work. Right. Right. Okay, great. So, remember, when you're talking to people, don't think black and white and color. Think e-ink. And LCD. Great. Thanks, Keith. Thank you.